and welcome to a brand new episode of Gadget Nation of me, Adam Carruthers, and here I am in TGV Cinema, specifically Wano Utama, relaxing before I go watch a movie later on. So, big question is, what do I have in store today? Plenty. I've got something from Nokia, their new flagship phone, I would say. Some really cool games to check out. And of course, something which can help protect your phone. That's all I can say for now. So, let us start the show. Apparently, he looks like me. I don't think so. He should look like me. But speaking of Superman, you may have noticed in the movie that everybody was using those Nokia phones. Well, guess what? Nokia out with a brand new one, and I wouldn't say it's a phone, it is a phablet, and it is awesome. I got my hands on it, 1520. Here's my review. This is something I'm really excited about. For me, Nokia and Windows phones have come a long way and every time one is now announced, I get very excited, more so than in the past. So what I have here is actually the new one, the Nokia Lumia 1520, and there's plenty of things to like about it. In fact, I would just say it's the best Lumia phone out there. Absolutely no questions about it. Really is a fantastic device. So let's just jump into the biggest thing about it. You see the play on words I just did there? Biggest thing, because it is a monstrous phone. It is a phablet if ever there was one. Just for comparison's sake, I have the Samsung Galaxy Note 3 in this hand. Lifting this up though, you will see the difference. This is the 1520. It is bigger than the Samsung Galaxy Note 3, which in itself is bigger than its predecessors like the Note 2. So you can imagine how large the 1520 is in my hand. Now, a lot of people are put off by the size. That is a given. However, I like my big phones. Why? Because I like reading stuff. I like watching stuff in it. And it really is a pleasure on something as large as this. Now, take nothing away. It may be large, but it feels really nice in my hands. I've got this lovely matte finish at the back. This is the black edition, by the way. And, oh, it's beautiful. The full screen, I mean, it's full HD. The first time we've seen that on a Lumia, it just illuminates so nicely. I mean, if I show you that, it is, oh, it is crystal clear. I mean, it, I can't get over how nice this is. I'm going to put this down. Just for another comparison's sake, I have a slightly older phone, although it's still out in the market. This is the Nokia 1020, and this is the 1520. So, gives you an idea of the size difference. Now, obviously, the 1020 does not have a full HD screen. In fact, it can't really compare to the 1520 unless A, you like smaller phones, and B, you like the 40 megapixel camera on the back. This one only has a 20 megapixel camera, the 1520 that is. I'll touch on that more later, but it does allow it to be a lot more flat on the back as opposed to the 1020 right there. Okay, enough about how it looks and how big it is. Let's get down to business. Firstly, let me expand a little bit on the screen itself because yes, it may be full HD the first time I've seen that on a Lumia, but you need a screen 
with the quality and build that can really utilize it. And I tell you what, this is a beauty. It's so good because this clear back technology, if we were outside in the bright sun, which we're obviously not right now, it would still be incredibly clear. Now, obviously, if you're reading, if you're taking pictures and so forth, the resolution in this combined with the clear back technology make for a perfect screen. It really, really is something amazing and I've had an absolute pleasure just going through this. Now I'm sure one of the big things about this phone as with most smartphones is the camera. This is a 20 megapixel camera. It's not as good as the 1020. I mean to be honest there's no phone which is as good as this 1020 right here. I mean it's 41 technically megapixels. That is astounding versus this which is 20 but still more than able enough. It doesn't feel as top heavy or back heavy in this case as a 1020. So that's a good balance right there as you're holding it or when you want to take pictures, etc. However, don't expect the pictures to be quite as sharp, quite as clear as a 1020. But then again, no other camera phone out there can compete, nor can a lot of point and shoots either. This is more than able to doing a good job. Combine that with the Pro app, which actually comes onto this you get some really, really cool pictures because you get a 16 megapixel version and you also get the five megapixel version as well. And obviously you want the five megapixel one for sharing on your Instagram or your WhatsApp and so forth. It still is one of the best cameras out there. Nokia really know how to make sure you capture good pictures. On top of that, there's four microphones here. So in terms of audio, it's also excellent when you're shooting your videos. Probably the best out there in my opinion. the other things of note about the 1520? Well, there's a really cool app called the Nokia Storyteller, which basically uses your GPS and it creates something with its own story effectively. I mean, this is still kind of in a beta. I mean, it's still growing and so forth, but as you can see, I've taken a whole bunch of pictures and it groups it by your location or you can categorize it yourself and it adds a little bit of history. You can see exactly where I've taken most of my pictures and I have to say, your favorite areas and your timeline and then it'll, you can open it up and see all the pictures that are inside and with the address. This is one of the studios which I work at here for Astro. So it's really cool and I can just rename it. A nice little addition which once the Nokia Storyteller uh, community grows and obviously the GPS as well will just get better and better. Now the battery, another big issue, point of contention for many people out there. I can safely say this has a much better battery life than the 1020. Why? 3,400 mAh. Yes, there's a bigger screen, a more powerful screen, which will suck up more battery, especially if you put it in high brightness mode, for example, if you're reading, etc. And in case you're also wondering, there's a whole host of different colors as well. I mean, right here, we have the red version, which is more of a plasticky feel. The black one has a nice matte finish, and there's a few more, for example, the yellow we've come to see being advertised so often is also available on the 1520. So what do I think about this in closing? It's a fantastic device. It's really, really nice. It is the best Nokia Lumia Windows phone out there. Well, bar nothing really, it really rocks. And let me tell you specifically why things which may be holding you back at this point in time shouldn't be holding you back from embracing a Windows phone. The applications, people say they're the marketplace just isn't as big. Yes, that's true, but it is growing. For example, shortly after the 1520 launch, Instagram, the official one, the official app came out, and it's really cool, it's really nice. But I was using another Windows Instagram application called Six Tag, which I would argue it's much better than the actual Instagram one. There's a lot more I can do with it. This isn't time for an app review. Let's just say there's plenty of options there. And you know what? There's also other Instagram applications you can use which are just as good as well. The size, obviously it's gonna be very, very off-putting for some people and it is very large. I completely understand, but I like big phones. Obviously it's also quad core, two GB of RAM, and it's very cool. However, the size. So I got myself thinking. Now the 1020 here is a good size for most people and it's got that 41 megapixel camera. So I think the next big phone for Nokia will have exactly what the 1520 has, but something more this size. However, take nothing away from this. Yes, it's a big phone, but there's plenty underneath it to really make you fall in love with it. A solid 4.5 out of 5 from me here, the Nokia Lumia 1520.